my name is uh, Suresh Patatil. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Fering uh, Pharmaceuticals India, based out of Mumbai. The CHAMPION trial is a multicentric study in 30,000 women across uh, 10 countries. And this is a pu public-private partnership between uh, WHO, MSD for Mothers, and Fering, and Carbitose and Heat Stable, with heat st Carbitose and Heat Stable, which is an original research product of Fering. Uh, this trial results have been now published in the New England Journal of Medicine and the results show that carbitocin heat stable is as efficacious as oxytocin uh, which is not heat stable which is a temperature controlled product and uh, it, it gives you the same results. The advantage of carbitocin heat stable being that it can be kept at any temperature and it would work in preventing postpartum hemorrhage which is one of the biggest cause of death uh, in women at childbirth. If you look at the maternal mortality in India, when we started the Millennium Development Goals, it was around 400 odd per 100,000 women. Now, uh, after we have completed the Millennium Development, we have reached 160 out of 100,000 uh, women. And a major reason for this uh, reduction in maternal mortality was as a result of institutional births. But a large part of these maternal deaths are due to postpartum hemorrhage. And we hope that carbitocin heat stable, which uh, can be kept in any temperature, unlike oxytocin, which has to be stored between 2 to 8 degrees, uh, can really uh, help in preventing postpartum hemorrhage and thereby reducing maternal mortality. Carbitocin, in terms of efficacy, is similar to oxytocin, as you know from the results of the uh, clinical trial, uh, which we just completed. And uh, the advantage of carbitocin heat stable is that it can be kept for more than three years at 30 degrees centigrade. At 40 degrees centigrade, it can be kept for more than six months, and at 50 degrees centigrade for almost three months. So, which means that you can actually store carbitocin heat stable at room temperature, and it can work very well. Whereas oxytocin, which has to be stored between two to eight, and especially lower resource countries uh, and uh, places where the electricity may not be appropriate, you would find that the oxytocin will not work the way it should work. Uh, so, thereby, carbitocin heat stable would be a uh, real benefit for, uh, uh, you know, to make sure that it works very well in preventing postpartum hemorrhage. Carbitocin heat stable will be manufactured for this public market access uh, in two uh, places, one in China, in Zongshan, where we have our own manufacturing facility, and the other one will be in India, where we are getting into a partnership with a third party for manufacturing of uh, carbitocin heat stable. So this will be the two main supply sites for carbitocin for this uh, global access program. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a tripartite public-private partnership which we had, where WHO conducted a trial in almost six sites in India, and it was the WHO sites. Uh, it was in uh, Bagalkot, uh, Belgaum, Bijapur, uh, Katak, uh, Nagpur, and Varanasi. These were the sites. And we had almost 7,000 of the 30,000 women from India. And uh, the whole idea was that if we, if we get the results and when when it is published, and we get the regulatory approvals. The agreement is that Fering would supply the drug at accessible, affordable prices, or in similar to that of oxytocin, uh, to all these markets where, uh, according to WHO, is of high need for carbitocin heat stable. So it's been published now in the New England Journal of Medicine. And uh, with this results, we will go to the regulator for approval of carbitocin heat stable. And the second part of the agreement uh, between uh, WHO, Fering, and MSD was that Fering will supply to the public market at a sustainable, affordable price equivalent to that of oxytocin in the public market in these countries. Fering India started its uh, operations in India in uh, 1996 as a wholly owned subsidiary of Fering uh, Pharmaceuticals uh, from Switzerland. And uh, we have a commercial operations in uh, Bombay. We also have an R&D center which we set up in 2008. And we also have a manufacturing facility for APIs in Ambarnath. Uh, we are present in almost all the therapeutic areas, like infertility treatment is one of our major areas. In addition to that, we have gastroenterology, urology for prostate cancer. And most of the products which we sell are original research products of Fering. And it's differentiated from the other products which are available in the market. In addition to that, now we are going to uh, expand our operations in Hyderabad, where we have bought a tract of land in Genome Valley. And we would like to set up a fully uh, uh, functional development center as well as a pilot plant and manufacturing facility in Hyderabad. Uh, in the next few years, we will be launching products from our glo global portfolio, mainly in the area of uh, obstetrics, uterine fibroids, 
in gastroenterology for ulcerative colitis and infertility treatment and these are all original products of uh, fairing.